Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is my monthly skincare I am trying out video. I have started doing these the past couple of months because I do like to try a lot of new skincare. I definitely have my staples, as you will see in my routines that I post, in my empties videos that I post, but I am a lover of all things skincare and I really like to try new things so that I can bring you my thoughts on them. I get sent a lot of skincare, so I felt like the best way to kind of encapsulate everything and let you know many reviews so far is to do a monthly skincare I am trying out video. So let's go ahead and jump in. A portion of this video is sponsored by Zip Beauty because I'm going to tell you all about their new Zip Halo. I have talked about Zip in the past. I love it. It is a microcurrent device that I use on the regular and really enjoy. This is the brand new Zip Halo. It's beautiful silver, compact, lightweight powerhouse of a microcurrent device. And I'm gonna tell you not only what it does, but also how it differs from the original Zip. So you can see this is the original, this is the Halo. Now, if you are not familiar with Zip, in general, it is not only a microcurrent device. Now, microcurrent is a wave form that you can feel on the skin. So if you've ever used a microcurrent device and you feel a little bit of something, that is the microcurrent. It gives you instant results. It shows the lift that can happen right after you use the microcurrent. And it's kind of like a workout for your face muscles. You have muscles everywhere. I like to work out at the gym. Why not work out my face muscles as well? Now, the beauty of Zip is that it not only has microcurrent, but it also has nanocurrent. Now, nanocurrent is a different waveform that gets deeper into the skin at a cellular level. You cannot feel these waveforms, but they are working deep within the skin to repair and rejuvenate. Now, this type of waveform, the nanocurrent, isn't going to give you instant results. It's going to give you those long-term results. After consistent use, six weeks after using this, you are going to start seeing the long-term reduced lines and wrinkles, smooth and glowing skin, increased lift that I, I feel like stays with consistent use. So that's kind of a Cliff's Notes version of a Zip device. Now let's go ahead and talk about how the old one is different from the new Halo. The very first and most obvious difference is the size. So again, this is the old, this is the new. The marketing says that it is a lighter weight device. I'm that person that wants to know exactly how much lighter, so I weighed both of these on a kitchen scale. I weighed them in grams. The new one is 22 grams lighter than the old one. That's almost an entire ounce, and it is very evident when you hold both in your hands how much lighter weight this new one is. It is also comprised of silicone on the bottom, which makes it very easy to clean. The power button is now on the bottom instead of the top, which being on the top, sometimes when you held your device, you could accidentally hit that and it would interrupt your session. Not an issue here since it is now on the bottom of the device. It has an increased maximum energy output and the vibrations are intensified and vary between whatever treatment or guide you are using. Now let's talk about the treatment and guides real quick. If you are familiar with Zip, you know it comes with an app that has so many different treatments that you can use. It syncs up with your Zip, and every time Melanie, the founder that is doing it on the app, every time you know she tells you to change positions, it's actually when your Zip vibrates as well. So it's very easy to go along with. They have plans. It tells you exactly which treatment to do and what day, how many days to skip in between. But another big difference on the new Halo is that you don't have to go along with any of the treatments on the app if you don't want to. They have an instant lift kind of routine where if you just turn it on without syncing it to the app, you are gonna have four minutes to use the zip. It will give you two minutes per side of the face. It will beep in between to let you know when to change sides of the face and when the treatment is over. And you can really just freeform it, which is basically what I have been doing lately. I am going to cut away to how I use this, I will basically turn on the device and I will start at the bottom of my chin. I will do probably about six 
passes, wait, you know, wait for the vibration and then start over again. And then I will move up from my chin to kind of my cheek and underneath my cheekbone. As long as you are moving up and out, you can really be creative with this. So you can see I am moving up and out with the device as I go along. I will then move after six passes of that up to under my eyes and go kind of up to my temple. I will do six passes of that and then I will work on my forehead and eyebrow area. However, I feel like I need to work. If there's one section of my face I feel like needs a little more work that day than the other, I will do that. But really it is whatever I feel like, free form. I get 24 vibrations per side of the face. Very, very easy. Sometimes I will work less on my face and more on my neck. As long as I don't go over the middle part of my neck, that's fine. That's where your thyroid is. You don't want to go over that. Other than that, it's whatever you feel like. I'll put up kind of a static picture after I've done half of my face with the treatment and see if you can see any immediate lift. Now again, that's the microcurrent working. I mentioned in some other videos I did on the zip, I do get Botox in my crow's feet and on my forehead. Probably for about six to eight weeks after I get Botox, I really concentrate from here down on my face and then on my neck. After those six to eight weeks, I will start working under my eyes and my forehead. And I have actually found that doing that prolongs the time in between my Botox appointments where I feel like I need to go back. I have gotten up to a month more using the zip on the areas where I get Botox. Now, the reason I wait six to eight weeks is because the microcurrent works out your muscles. Botox is meant to kind of paralyze them. I feel like it's kind of a defeat the purpose type of situation if I use it directly after. A lot of people do, but they do say to wait 10 to 14 days after Botox before you do any kind of zip treatments. Highly, highly, highly recommend this. Outside of my red light mask, this is the only true device that I use on my face and I feel like a combination of those two is all that I need. When you buy this, it does come with a mini electric complex gel. There are four gels available. They are very varied in the ingredients and what you're wanting for your skin. I do have a code for not only the, the device, but also the gels. Now the code will work for 15% off for the first week after this video. After that, it will go to 10% off, a great percentage off. This is a great deal because not only did they make it lighter weight, but they also decreased the price point so that more people could enjoy this. I highly, highly recommend this. So I will have that linked down below with my coupon code. Now let's go through the other products that I have been trying this past month. There is a very big thunderstorm going on outside, so hopefully I am not going to lose power. We're going to stick with it as long as we can. I had mentioned red light therapy, talking about the zip, and I got an, a product sent to me by a company that I had heard about before. I have mentioned in my red light videos before that I like to use a green tea toner because there have been a couple studies shown that green tea, green tea can intensify the effects that you get from red light. And typically I use a green tea toner, but the company Miasma sent over their green rooibos pressed serum. And this is jam packed with antioxidants, y'all. Even if you don't do red light therapy, this would be a great antioxidant serum for your routine. It does not have to be in conjunction with red light therapy, but it does have the green tea in it that will, at least according to those studies, bump up the efficacy of the red light. So they recommend that you put this on probably about 15 to 20 minutes before you do red light. You don't want anything to be still damp on your skin when you put the mask on. So that's what I've been doing. I wait like 15 minutes and then I will do red light therapy and I've really been enjoying this. But again, it's not something you have to use if you use red light only. Really been enjoying this. And they also sent over their green rooibos gel balm cleanser. Now I have only used this a couple of times. I got it a couple of days ago. It is really nice if you have dry skin, especially because it is a gel balm cleanser. There is going to be no foaming at all, no lather, nothing. It is just a very, I mean, you can see just that balm consistency on the hand, a very creamy, balmy cleanser that gets the job done, but absolutely does not leave any kind of film or tightness. It, I really think it's gonna work for everybody, but I think if you have dry skin, normal to dry skin, you're gonna love it. They did send me a 10% code, so I will put that down as well. I purchased a couple of things from Skin Truth, and I have been hearing about these ever since they launched on Skin Truth. 
and people have been asking me to review them and use them and I finally bit the bullet. Now, when I purchased these, my code for Skin Truth that I always have, Mandy20, did not work. However, Brianna has changed that and it now works on these items. The first is the Truology A Squared Advanced Ret retinol serum 0.2 percent so this is the highest percentage of retinol on the market it's not the only product that has the 0.2 percent but it is the highest percentage retinaldehyde is my retinol of choice at the moment i have not been using my retin-a for a couple of months now and my skin has actually really appreciated it as far as the peeling went or goes and this has retinaldehyde, peptides, it has a lot of antioxidants. It's basically got everything that you would need as one step in your skincare routine if you're a minimalist or just want a serum that includes it all. So I have been using this for the past couple of weeks. I've actually really enjoyed it. I have no cons about it at all. The only thing that I will say is it is a very rich in color product as it should be because retinaldehyde is kind of a yellow orangey shade you can see that here and it does linger on the skin a little bit enough to where in the morning i feel like you will need to wash your face so if you're someone who just likes to splash water on the face and then go in with your morning skincare routine I would recommend not doing that if you use this product. I had a couple of people respond to me on Instagram saying that they absolutely love it, that it does leave some marks on their pillowcase, but they don't care because they love it so much. I haven't had any issues with any residue on my pillow, but again, I would recommend washing your face the next morning. But so far, so really good with Astrology A Squared. Now, this is a mist, an antimicrobial cleanser, but I think it's having their name changed to a mist and this is from hydrinity skincare and this is supposed to be really good for like it states antimicrobial also redness inflammation it's supposed to be just kind of a powerhouse for all of those things now i will say when i first got both of these products i started using them together at the same time i did get a little bit of texture on the top of my cheekbones I stopped using both of them to see if it went away, and it did. I have since put this back into my rotation. I've not had that texture come back, so it is not from this. I haven't put this back in yet. I don't know if it's from this or if it's just a fluke. It could have been something I ate. I don't know, but I'm going to be trying it out again and see, and I will keep y'all updated, but it's very nice. And I'm again, it's one of those things where I post on Instagram and nothing but super high praises from everybody who responded to my story. Allies of Skin was very sweet to send over some products to me because they had seen me talk about how much I love them on my channel and on Instagram. And the majority of the products I sent over were things that I already loved, so I was able to get backups, which I'm very appreciative of. This one I had not used yet, and it's the Molecular Savior Probiotics Treatment Mist. That's a mouthful. It is a mist that contains 5% niacinamide, silver and glutathione, mango and acai extract, probiotics, and ergothionine, and an anti-evaporation complex. It has a nice mist. It's not super fine, but it's also not too strong where I feel like I'm kind of knocking myself out when I missed my face. Sometimes I will use this in between steps, but what I've really been enjoying doing is spraying my face right before I go to bed because I typically will do my skincare probably up to like three hours before I go to bed, four hours sometimes. And it gives a nice, refreshed, hydrated boost to my skin right before I go to bed while also giving it all of those other good ingredients. So it works great both ways. I haven't tried this over makeup. I probably wouldn't. It To me, it's more of a skincare product, but I like it. I do have a code for 20% off of Allies of Skin. I'll put that down below. At the time that I'm filming this, they are doing a buy one, get one free sale, which is huge. And my code will work for an additional 15% off of that sale, which is even bigger. Like such good savings if you are able to snag that. I did post about it on Instagram. Hopefully it'll still be available by the time I put this video up, but if it's not, it's still a nice discount and I highly recommend that brand. I purchased this eye cream after I heard, I don't know who I heard talk about it. I wish I could give them credit, but I'm not sure. This is from Jordan Samuel and it is the Performance Eye Gel. This stuff is good, y'all. This is a gel, but it is super hydrating. I don't know why I did this because you're not gonna be able to see it. 
it's a gel, but oh my goodness, it's so hydrating. It's what I've been using in the morning because I feel like it just kind of brightens and hydrates and awakens my under eye and it works really, really well under makeup as well. It's very affordable. It's $40. He often runs sales on his site. You can only get Jordan Samuel products on jordansamuel.com but I have really been enjoying this. So definitely look into it if you're looking for the main result out of your eye cream to be super hydration. That's what you're gonna get from this. Speaking of hydration, I have a couple of new moisturizers that were sent over to me, one of which was so controversial when I posted about it on my community page here on YouTube because Augustinus Botter sent me over uh, this rich cream and also a small version of a cream and they had a buy one get one at Derm Store. All I did was post about the offer in case anybody liked Augustinus Botter and I had like seven or eight comments about how it's a waste of money and this and that. And I'm like, well, I'm not reviewing this in this post. I'm just simply sharing the offer. I have not formed an opinion really on this, but looking at the ingredient deck, I'm not quite sure if it's worth the $290 that is the retail price of this. I have used it and, you know, packaging's really nice and weighted. You've got the magnetic top, which I would really assume would come with an almost $300 product. And it is a rich cream. It has some oils in it, but it doesn't leave my skin oily. It actually sinks in really well. It's way lighter in texture than I would expect something called the rich cream, but it does provide good moisture to my face. However, there's a lot of moisturizers that provide good moisture to my face. I am not only using this. I think when this first came out, they didn't have as many other products within the line and they recommended only using this in your skincare routine, which I could never do. I mean, I could, but I wouldn't. If I was only going to use a moisturizer as my only step in my skincare routine, it would be the Allies of Skin Peptide and Firming Moisturizer. I've talked about that. This one, I don't know that I would do it. I'm enjoying it as a moisturizer. Don't know that it's worth the money, but I posted that for people who love it because I know there are some die-hard Augustinus Botter fans out there. The other was sent to me by Bloomingdale's, and this is from U Beauty. Now, I have heard of the U Beauty resurfacing compound before, but I had never really heard of this. This is the Super Hydrator. Now, this is also not cheap. This is $168, and you're getting 50 milliliters, where this is also 50 milliliters for 100, 290. So it's still $130 less, and they actually remind me a lot of each other. This one is maybe a little bit runnier in texture, not by much, but the end result is very similar. They both have some oils in the ingredient deck. They leave the same kind of amount of shine to the skin. They're about the same weight as far as texture goes once it's rubbed in. And I really like the results, the hydration results from this. So if I had to pick between the two for price alone, I would probably go with You Beauty because I do enjoy it and I do find them to be very similar. The last, actual skincare product I'm gonna talk about is from RMS Beauty. This is the Supernatural Radiance Serum SPF 30. They sent this over to me and this is in the shade Light Aura. <sighs> Y'all, this is pretty. Now it's a small, small bottle. It is only one fluid ounce. And if you're putting on the right amount of SPF, this is not going to last you long at all, but I do want to show you how pretty it is. Now I know that moisturizer is underneath too, but oh, you can see, you can see where that is right there. It is so pretty, but once it's fully rubbed in, you don't feel like you look like the Tin Man. It's not so shiny where I felt uncomfortable wearing it by itself without makeup on top, but it is also beautiful with makeup on top. So they, they also have um, some darker colors, and I think maybe the darkest would be very pretty as a bronzer if you have the correct skin tone for it. It is only SPF 30. I know some people really prefer SPF 50, but there are some days where I don't mind SPF 30 and I have been enjoying this. I think the glow is just the right amount. I do wish it was in a bigger bottle though, I will say. Now, the only other thing I'm going to talk about, cause I feel like this is a super long video, is this, and this is not necessarily a skincare product, but I have been using this. These are the silicone scar sheets. Okay, they come in like a little black box like this. I got them off Amazon. Comes in a big roll like this. And I cut pieces of this off after I do my skincare at night. 
and I will put a couple, I do have a very, very, very deep line underneath this eye. And I will, I started out just using it over here and I felt like it was making a difference. So I started using it under both eyes and then I will put them kind of right here where my lines will pop up maybe when I need Botox and I don't want to go get Botox. And I will leave them on for four to five hours and I have even slept in them and they do wonders for softening those lines. It is not something that is permanent. It is temporary, but I don't care, especially if I'm consistent with it. I just feel like it is going to extend the life again of me going in between Botox, but it's also just a cosmetic difference in the way your lines appear on your face. I have heard people that will put them on their nasal labial folds. If they have deeper ones, they'll sleep in them like that. I can't speak for any of the other scar tape. I would maybe try this out for a couple hours, maybe even on the inside of your wrist, make sure you're not sensitive to anything. I mean, it's just basically silicone, so probably aren't, but just to make sure, and then put them on your face if you're interested. But I just felt like it made a difference. It's something easy. Chad makes fun of me because I'm always trying something new on my face and he feels like he's gonna come in and just see my face floating because of all the stuff that I use on it. but. I don't even care. I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna let y'all know if it works. And for me, that is working even if it is temporary. It just doesn't matter to me. So I wanted to share that with y'all. So that is all the skincare that I have been trying in the past month. I will have everything listed and linked below with any codes that may go with it. Let me know if you have any questions and don't forget about that zip. I can't recommend that enough. I know a lot of people got it based on my last recommendation of the original one. That's fine. You don't need the new one if you have the original one, but it is very nice. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.